Hey Collective, today we're going to do a quick energy check-in to see if we can get some messages to my returning subscribers. Welcome back and to anybody who's new here, thank you for joining us today. I appreciate all of your comments and all of your likes and your subscribes and your shares. And I hope everybody's doing well today. And we're just going to go ahead and hop right into the message. So the first card out is the Seven of Swords. Somebody could be lying. There could be somebody, um, some snaky energy around you. Um, let's see, what is the Seven of Swords? This could have to do with work or something that you're working on. There could be something that's a secret right now around work that is to do with something that you're manifesting as a wish fulfillment. And there is something around success and strength that's coming out. So let's see what else. There's a partnership that's showing up. This could be a secret partnership or something that's going on behind the scenes or behind closed doors. Whatever this partnership has to do with, it could have um, some relation to you having a new beginning somewhere. There's something about your options and feeling trapped. Because it's like you're trying to move away from something or move on. There's something that you're walking away from. You could be sneaking away from something. You could be silently making some sort of a move or a change. It looks like somebody is seeing you do this, though. There could be someone here that is an air sign or someone in a leadership position who... This could be somebody who is picking you to do something or they see that you're working very quietly. You're going to have some communication coming towards you. This communication could have to do um, with an offer. There could also be something around children here. So this could have to do with a father figure or a boss. But there's some information that you have that's coming in. And it looks like this is coming pretty quickly. Let's see what this offer is. This offer is coming out as something that you are probably not going to accept. It looks like you're going to move on from whatever this has to do with. So somebody's going to be... It's like somebody is looking at you while you're working quietly or while you're moving in silence. And they're going to be coming towards you to make an offer. This could be an offer that they do that's in secret. For, for some of you, I'm getting something specifically about um, work. It's like there is a position that has come available and you're being offered this position quietly. And you could, it's like this could come to you and you could look at it and think that it's not worth your time. And that there's something here about you moving on from it. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces or have that sign somewhere in your chart. Mm. There could be a couple of people that could be coming towards you. These are people that you're not speaking to or you're doing something very quietly and there's people who are looking at you for a position in something. There's also something here about a Karmic Feminine and a masculine energy whoever they are they're focused on you because they see there's an ending or a transformation here whenever it comes to do with finances or something that you're putting some effort into and it's like whatever effort you're putting in it's like this this isn't going unnoticed whatever this has to do with and the efforts that you're putting forward, it's like you're doing this out of nurturing and loving energy. This is something that whatever you're pouring yourself into, it's coming from your heart. 
So if this is your job, um, people are seeing it that way. If this has to do with children, people are viewing you in a way where it's like you're operating from your heart space. There could be someone here who's trying to hold on to you. For selfish reasons, reasons, this person wants to have control over something to do with your foundation or a home situation. There could be somebody looking in on your life. Um, there's somebody spying here. This person could be driving by your home or there's something about them looking at your home. Um, there's something unexpected that's going to be coming in. Whatever this unexpected thing is or whatever this tower is, it's like you are moving on from it because you are you know that whatever it's attached to, there's a lot of anxiety that you're not willing to deal with anymore. There's something about you looking at something in a different perspective and deciding that you don't want to deal with being anxious because of this energy. There's two feminine energies here. Um, there's a Queen of Swords and a Queen of Pentacles. And then the Five of Swords has come out. So there could be um, some gossip or slander or something petty that's going on. I just heard catty that's going on between two feminine energies. If these are not women, this could be somebody who... Um, this could be an earth sign and an air sign that this is highlighting where there's something about winning at all costs and you moving on from this. There's a situation that's involving a group of people here that it's like you're not, whatever this has to do with, it's like you're trying to sneak away from this or you're being very quiet in order to move on from whatever this has to do with. Yeah, and then the Three of Cups has come out. There's something about gossip. Somebody could be defending you around something. Someone in a hierarchy could be making a decision to put you in a position of some sort. Or there's someone who's going to be saying something to these um, gossipy people about who you are or about why your energy is protected or how come you're it's like something about your worth that somebody is talking about and there is a judge or someone in a position where there's a hierarchy so again this could be an employer where it's like your boss's boss or this could be um this could be in a church or in a re religious organization this could have to do with a marriage or a contract of some sort that has to do with your finances. Whatever is showing up here, there's very busy energy of you having to juggle a lot of things at once. And it's like whatever it is that you're juggling, you are, you're still guarded it's like, it's almost, I'm getting like you're inside of a bubble while you're trying to handle a lot of different things. So this could be you being busy at work and being busy at home and being busy um, with your family and being busy in social relationships. And it's like you're pouring in all of your, your energy into different places. For some of you, there's been a lot of... Um, money loss or you may maybe you're having to spend a lot of money in different places at this time and for some of you feel like this is causing you pain or heartache or like you're not going to recover financially from it but the ace of swords is here after the three of swords so you do have a new beginning coming in around something to do with your finances you may just not see whatever that is yet There's something here about looking within and taking an action around a betrayal or some sort of 
ending that had to do with finances. There's something about this action that you're taking moves you past whatever this betrayal is. There, there. I am seeing a financial hardship here for some of you. And it's like whatever this has to do with there, there is something where you're going to be receiving a gift or receiving money back. Yeah, and the Empress has come out right after that. I said that. So the Six of Coins is here with the Empress. So there could be somebody who's giving you something. Um, this could have to do with your worth or this could have to do with your position in... Um, I was going to say in a family. So, I mean, you could be a mother or have children or have Taurus somewhere in your chart or Libra. But somebody's going to be giving you something after a period of having some financial hardship. And your money is going to be okay, even if it's not in the right place at this time. You have a message of an apology coming towards you. And then a cycle closes out almost immediately after that. This could have to do with children. There could be two children involved here. Um, they could be two boys or girls. But, I mean, um, there's masculine energy on these cards. But there's a, there's going to be some sort of a change. And whenever this change happens, you're going to be moved into a new direction. And someone is going to be apologizing to you for for something. Let's see what this has to do with. This could also be an offer. Mm, no. This looks like somebody who is immature is making an apology to you. And whatever this immature energy has to do with, there's a change in whatever, whatever has been going on. This could be with a king of pentacles or somebody who's been, um, who is financially well off or financially stable this person could be making some sort of an apology to you that changes what's going on in a cycle between you and them and this has to do with judgment so there's judgment that's being called this could have to do with um the divine this could have to do with a court system this could just be you calling judgment on a connection but there is um what this looks like is you moving in silence and there are some people in your energy maybe that you don't see that are noticing this. You have some kind of an offer coming towards you either at work or in a situation that you have been dealing with. And it's like this balances whatever it is that's been going on. So if you lost money in a situation that has to do with family or something that you've been having to pay for or if this is just energy that you're spending there's something about an offer coming towards you where it changes the balance of whatever's happening so this could also just be you've been you've been losing something with one situation and you end up receiving an offer and gaining this back in another situation and these two situations may not even be related to each other but it's like there's judgment coming and Karma is about to balance. So let's see what else. And there's happiness that is going to be coming in here for you once this happens. So this could have been a very long cycle. Um, whatever this has to do with, it looks like there's been some betrayal and you feeling trapped in your head. And there's a lot of energies, it looks like, that are around you. But it's like you, you choosing to not deal with whatever this anxiety is, um, closes something out really quickly. And then it's, it's like, it's causing opportunities to come towards you. And it also balances the situation that has been out of whack, whatever that means. Um, and you do have happiness coming in. So you could be dealing with a Leo or have that sign somewhere in your chart. Um, the magician has just come out. So it's like you're manifesting happiness. There's, um, Good fortune and happiness manifesting. Let me see. And this cycle, whatever this was related to, it has something to do with somebody who's been in and out of your life that has caused you a lot of regret. Like you feel like you've 
wasted emotions on this person and there's been a lot of fighting. That's what this happiness is. Whatever this is talking about, it's saying that that's what this is related to. So if somebody's been doing something to cause you a lot of emotional strife and possibly a lot of money or energy, it's like this gets balanced, but it could be balancing in a way that you didn't expect. So let's see what else. I just heard when one door closes. So that, that could be significant. There could be something that's permanently um, closing out for you with someone or several people. And it's like you have put in enough of whatever it is that you needed to somewhere. You poured in enough of yourself. You spent enough, enough time, enough money, enough energy. Whatever, hmm. it's like whatever you have been trapped in or felt like you have been trapped in, whether this has to do with another person or just maybe a mindset that you have been in, there's something about you no longer being focused on whatever that is and choosing <laughs> to free yourself of this. There's some illusion that's being broken and it's like you're realizing that you are already independent and free of a situation that could have been full of codependency to some degree, whether this had to do with you and a family member or a coworker. It's like, there's something here where you and somebody else's energy was intertwined, but it's like, you are realizing that all you have to do is just move forward and be independent of whatever this is. And there's a wish fulfillment that comes in here for you. Yeah, it's like you are seeing that there's, your time is better spent on you and there's no reason to pour into whatever this fighting has to do with because you know that that is a waste of time. It's like, I'm getting, if somebody was able to, I just heard cast a spell, but it's like if somebody was able to cast an, an illusion over you that they had control over a situation or that they had control over the trajectory of your life, it's like you are... The the fog is clearing, and you're seeing that you're already you're already independent of this person. That this person needs you more than you ever needed them. It's like you have you have the coins or the seeds or whatever it is that needs to be planted to manifest something that's going to be fruitful. Not this other person. If you've been attached to a situation, the investment or whatever this is lies with you. And it's like you know that you don't need to be in competition with this person or with any other energy because you have whatever you need to be able to move forward. Whoever this person is, they could be coming in to offer you something that's either not worth your time or there's something about receipts here where somebody could be trying to... It's like, I'm getting it's like they lost their proof. They lost their proof of something. They lost their proof of their hold on you. There's no more magic in their words. There's no more illusion over whatever this has to do with it. It's like somebody who could have been coming towards you and saying a lot of things to get you in your head from the last spread that came out. It's like you're choosing, it's like, Everything is clearing up. You're choosing to put the anxiety down and just move away from this. Because you see that this person doesn't have anything. They don't have any control here. And there's a tower that's coming for this person who's been extremely manipulative, who has been trying to control you. So there's someone here that has been trying to manipulate a situation to keep you from moving forward. And it's like there's going to be some unexpected event here and it's attached to you breaking the cycle or breaking an illusion or choosing to get on your horse and ride away from whatever the situation is because you don't have to be here it's like that's what you're seeing
And this is somebody from your past. This is somebody that could have tried to use children to control a situation with you. This is someone that you have known for a very long time. Whoever this is, is not, um, it's like they didn't, they never offered you true love. This person could have been emotionally manipulative. They could have done a lot of spying or slandering or something that involved money. Or they were doing this because of money. It's like they were trying to hold on to you because they know that you are the place that everything manifests from. And so by trying to control you, they controlled the Ten of Pentacles. So they controlled whether this was family or an inheritance or just continuous money that was coming and there's something about a lot of money you are saying that you could just be happier alone like you're you see that being with this person dims your light and it's not something that you're willing to burden yourself with anymore Show me this King of Cups. <clears throat> Whoever this is, this King of Cups is somebody that they do not regret the behavior that they have put in towards you. Whoever this is is somebody who did this and they did it with intention and for a reason. And they did this because without you, they didn't feel like things would work. So it's like they were doing all of these things and... If this person comes towards you, you need to know that this isn't somebody who is sorry for any moves that they have made, whether this is a coworker or a family member or an ex. You need to know that these this whoever this is made calculated moves in an emotionally manipulative way in order to control a situation that had to do with time, money, or energy that they felt like could only come from you. This is somebody who doesn't know how to move on from you. They could still be spying on you at this time and they're stuck. They're just, they don't know how to manifest from within. And so it's like they're stuck focused on you. Whoever this is could be with somebody who's karmic to them. Um, for others of you, this is you. This is the Ten of Pentacles residing with the Queen of Wands, who's also somebody who's able to manifest. Yeah, and you're not going to be juggled anymore. This isn't, you're done working on whatever this has to do with, with whoever these people are. What else? What other messages for the collective? Why has this message come out? You need to know that you have new love coming towards you. You need to know that you are going to be the one that got away for this person. The Queen of Coins in reverse, the King of Pentacles in reverse, and the Lovers just come out. So that's what I'm seeing. It's like this person is will always feel like you were their soulmate that they fumbled. If there's something that they messed up here, and it's like they're them being greedy and in this energy of trying to be so controlling and hateful and whatever. These are things that. <clears throat> It's like they, there's something here about them still feeling like you are their person that they can't move away from. But they know that if they come towards you that you're they're going to be met with the Queen of Swords in reverse energy. So this is energy where you could cuss them out or you could, you know, tell them where they can go. But it's like you're putting your back to them. This isn't something that you're <clears throat> trying to entertain anymore. For a lot of you, you may not speak to them at all. You're not interested in a second chance with them because it's like, you know, that for some of you, this person is so controlling and manipulative. You don't want to speak to them because you feel like if you did, you would be exercising poor judgment that might put you back into a cycle where they're going to be fighting with you or baiting you or causing you to, um, <laughs> um, 
causing you to react in an emotional way because they're doing something to try to trigger you. It's like this is someone that you know that is it's just not worth your time. It makes more sense no matter what the scenario is for you to move on from them. <clears throat> A lot of you could finally be hopeful about what's on the horizon for you. Um, in the past, it looks like there's probably been a long period of time where you didn't want to be in relationships with anybody. These were there were this person did so much during different cycles that you were in with them, or this energy did so much that you were at a place where you just didn't want to be with anybody. But there's something about you healing your view on partnerships. And being excited about whatever it is that the future holds. And you may not know what that is, but there's something about you being excited about new partnerships coming towards you and healing. And there's also something about going within and listening to your intuition whenever it comes to anything <clears throat> to do with this King of Swords in reverse. It's like... You already know that the way that you're going to handle this is to not speak to them. You could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Pisces. You could also know that this person is going to potentially try to come towards you to offer you an apology. And you know that they're going to do this eventually. Um, it's like whatever they do in the future, you are, your intuition is telling you that this is going to happen. But it's like, you know that when they come in, they're going to start out small and then try to offer you something else and then get very forceful because that's how this person is. They do this in um, stages. And it's like, you know that no matter what happens here, you're going to continue to stay guarded. This isn't someone that you want to entertain. For some of you, there's something about this person needing to be removed from your life completely so that when you do have a new partnership come in, that this person doesn't do something to ruin it. <clears throat> There is great fortune, courthouse in the reverse, and bad health. So <clears throat> you have something good coming towards you. Um, this could be around a court case. It's like once this court case is over, there's something about your health being renewed. This could be to do with anxiety. This could have to do with your finances. There could be something here um, where you've just been in a state of almost like not feeling is what I'm getting because you're just trying to go through the emotions. I'm sorry, go through the motions. There could, there could be something about your emotions. So not feeling your emotions, but it's like just go doing your day to day so that you don't have to think about whatever it is that this person is putting you in. For those of you where you have a court case going on with this person, it's like once this is complete, your health does get renewed. There is something about you having better mental health, you having a clear headspace. Um, some of you, it's like I'm getting the energy of you wondering if this person is always going to be doing something in the legal system or doing something where there is, um, they're causing you to expend a lot of money. And I'm not seeing anything like that. It's like you get to heal and move on. And sadly, for some of you, it's like this person will move on to their next victim. <clears throat> Yeah, and there's whatever you have been having to spend, it's like you're going to be freed of constantly having to work on that. That's, that is that is the same thing I'm seeing that I just said before these cards came out. But it's like, you're this is over. This is going to be complete. There's not anything that's going to happen after this. You get to be free and move on. And for a lot of you, you probably feel like this person is just never going to let go of you or they're never going to get tired or they're never going to find you know, their own life. It, but whenever this is over, whether this is judgment being called by the divine or judgment being called in a courtroom, it's over. So that message is going to be significant for somebody um, because there's, there's no more.
gift in the reverse has come out. Let's see, what is this? Yeah, whatever they try to take from you, there's balance that's coming in here. Balance and justice. And this person gets blocked. Whoever this toxic person is, there's balance and justice coming in for the gift that they tried to take. And there's block communication or something is getting blocked for this person who tried to be, who tried to control you. Yeah, there's a lot of good energy here. There's, you've got a change coming in. This person that has done something to try to hold you and whatever this bind is here. It's like, this is, this isn't something that gets to continue. And for, for a lot of you, whoever this is, it's like, hang on, let me see before I say that. They are tired of this too, which is another thing. It's like, if you think that this person is okay, like that they're um, getting like a kick out of whatever it is that they're doing to you, at first they were. This is something that they were enjoying, like causing you issues and doing all that. But now it's like they have done more than, they bit off more than they could chew. And this is something that they want to end also. They don't want to continue to try to steal something from you. This isn't something that they are wanting to continue to indulge in because they see that no matter what what way they come at you, you just you're you have disengaged. Yeah, you have made a choice not to involve yourself in whatever this has to do with. And for a lot of you, they could have used a community of people to do this. There could have been something um that happened where it was like the court of public opinion is what was being used or what was at stake here. And so for some of you, if this is not a court case. This has to do with your image. It's like somebody did something to try to ruin your reputation at work or in a family or um, with your children or after a divorce happened. Somebody did a lot to try to ruin people's view of you. And your decision to cut ties and not care, it, it's like it sucks all the fun out of it. It's, it drains the entire situation of anything that may have been worth it for this person because you don't care. And when you don't care, if this is somebody who's a narcissist or somebody who's a sociopath or somebody who has some sort of like personality disorder, a lot of these disorders operate from... A place of attention like they need the attention in order for these things to work or for them to feel fulfilled or for them to get whatever it is that they need from the situation other people they just do things because they're evil but <laughs> people who are narcissistic they are actually very small sad people and they need energy in order to feel like they are in power they need people's attention and admiration in order to feel like like they have won um, so for someone that's going to be significant, but you do, do need to know that you do have justice coming in here for whatever this has to do with. So let's see. I'll pull a card from this deck and then one other one, and then I'm going to go ahead and close out the reading. Only you devoted, attached, crave. So this is this person's energy. They're still... They are like attached to you, but it's like you cutting the cord and moving on. There's there's nothing there. In a situation where there is codependency, both people have to be codependent. There has to be a co to the dependent. So if you're not there anymore, then they're just left deprived. And um, it's like that's that's the energy here. says as you did in the past in your home base or your family do what makes you feel secure so that's the advice here whatever path you're on that's making you feel okay that's releasing you of burdens or anxiety or any sort of mental anguish continue to do that 
whatever that means for you because it's leading you to where you need to go and at a minimum it's removing you from this other energy um do this obviously in the the highest vibration don't do things that are toxic or addictive or that are going to harm you or anybody else but if there's something that you have going that you are doing in secret and it's helping you through whatever this situation is, the advice here from Spirit is to continue on. So do whatever makes you feel secure because you do need to know that you've got great fortune coming in and this could be specifically to do with your mental health. For others of you, it has to do with um, your abundance financially, but there's something good coming in. So I'm going to go ahead and close out the reading there. I hope this message was helpful. Thank you.